Hey guys, it's Matt from JankyShack.com. Today we're going to be using, we're going to be making an earth battery. Uh, spent some time last night in the weird part of the internet. Uh, came across this idea, so I'm going to try it out. Uh, pretty, pretty skeptical, but I'm going to give it a shot. Costs about twenty-two dollars in, well, in rods. Plus you need some wire and a uh, few simple tools. Basically, what we're going to be doing is taking these two grounding rods. One of them is copper and one of them is galvanized uh, steel. These are just basic grounding rods you can buy at Home Depot uh, for about $10, $12 a piece depending on the metals. And we're going to be putting in, so according to the research I read, uh, you want to put the copper one facing north. So you're going to need a compass. I just use my phone with an app. Um, you put the copper one towards the, on the north side and you put it deeper and then you put the uh, other metal uh, steel or iron or compressed carbon or I don't know there's some other ones you put that on facing south and then you connect them with a wire well you don't connect them but that's how you get your voltage uh, potential difference so we're gonna give it a shot uh, it also says to put the copper one deeper than the galvanized, so we're going to try put the copper one pretty much all the way down. It's six feet, I think. And then I'll try the other one at different depths and see what kind of voltage we can get. Alright, so here's the materials you're going to need for this project. Uh, these are actually 8 feet rods, as you can see. Uh, 5 eighths by 8 foot copper, pointed ground rod, and this one is a uh, galvanized 5 eighths uh, grounding rod. And you're going to need a ladder, because you're going to need to hammer the top of it, and it's going to be really hard to reach eight feet up with a, with a hammer. So uh, you can use other things besides hammers, uh, hammer drills, uh, those, if you have a, those pipe driver things with a, it's like a piece of pipe with a cap on it. Uh, I just decided to keep it simple, use a hammer, everybody has a hammer. Um, you're also gonna need some wire. Uh, I'm gonna use vice grips to hold the wire onto the rods because it's just for testing purposes. Also wire strippers and I'll be using a regular voltmeter to test the voltage. Uh, here I am in the northmost part of the yard and I'm going to take the copper uh, pole and just push it down in there by hand. So that's as far as I could get it, which is probably about maybe 18 inches down, maybe a foot. Uh, what I'm going to do is hook up the wire and see if I get any voltage like this. And then I'm going to go over there, which is the south part of the yard. About 60 feet is about all I got, so that's what we're working with. And Take this galvanized one. I'll do the same. All right, that felt like it's probably in a little bit less. All right, let's hook up the wire and see if we got a voltage percent difference. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I just strip back this wire here another hand but I'm just gonna clamp on the the wire like that and then take this spool Long enough. Ooh. Yeah, hopefully we have enough here. 
perfect. All right, let's see what we got. All right, guys, what I did is just zip tie this multimeter to the stick here. Nothing fancy. I clamped the black lead to the posts. And as you can see, it's just going here. And then I tied the brown wire that goes to that pole out to this plant just because I don't have enough hands. And basically what we're gonna do is use this clamp. All right, so I just clamped that on there with a clamp. And we're actually showing, wow, 0.67 volts, that's insane. I didn't even think this was gonna work at all, but hey, we're sh showing 0.66 volts. That's pretty impressive. Uh, it has rained the last couple days. I don't know if that probably has something to do with it, but we have only put the rods in about a foot. So I'm gonna start putting the uh, copper rod down farther and see if we can get any better results. Okay guys, I hammered the copper pipe probably another six to eight inches down and the voltage actually increased to 0.739 so definitely an effect there uh, I'm gonna hammer this one down and see if it has any effect okay 749 give it a tap up there Seven nine five. So it looks like hitting either one down is increasing the voltage. Perfect. Let's see how much we can get it. I've been pounding this one down quite a bit. It's probably about two feet in the ground. It doesn't really want to go anymore. Uh, 0.826 volts. I've been pounding on it and it hasn't really been going down. The voltage really hasn't been going up. So I'm going to go try pounding on the uh, copper one again. Alright, I uh, pounded the copper one down quite a bit more. And now the voltage is about the same, point, point 0.8 and I'm going to switch it over to amps, showing 365 microamps, so very, very little current. Uh, I guess maybe if we can pound the rods down more, we can see more current. I don't know. It's like 0.35 milliamps, so I'm not really sure how we're going to use this power, but we'll figure out something. Okay, as you can see, the copper rod is now... <laughs> almost a full eight feet in the ground and I just basically whacked it in and I'll just leave that much out so I can connect to it and let's go check our voltage after I connect the wire back okay there you go clamped on there I had to get it connected back over on this side well Let's try that again. All right, I got it connected back on this side again. Um, the brown wire is coming from the copper, just like before. And I've got now uh, 440 microamps. Now, I zip tied it to this tree because it kept falling off on the pole, pole while I was hitting it. But it's down to 0.76. So, I'm going to pound this one down a little bit more and see if I can get more out of it. But we did get quite a bit more current out of it. Okay, now I've pounded the uh, negative side, or the galvanized pole, probably about another 18 inches, maybe 2 feet. I probably should have measured this, but it's alright. We're still going up. I've got 1,033 microamps, so i got 1 milliamp now. And we'll test the voltage and point, point 0.8 so we're definitely gaining power so I'm gonna keep 
hammering down the galvanized pole until we keep going up and see what we got. If it starts going down, then we'll know um, that they were right about it being shorter. Okay, pounded it in another foot. We're at uh, 1300 microamps and still at about 0.8 volts. So I'm going to keep going. That's like another 30% boost in power right there. Oh, we're up to point nine almost. Holy. 17, 1700 microamps. Wow. All right, guys, so I've uh, pounded that one all the way down. It's, for, uh, it's only about out of the ground, a little six inches. Uh, unfortunately, the batteries in my meter died, so I had to replace them. So the results, I hopefully didn't get skewed by that. I think if anything, the other ones would be artificially low. But as you can see, I got my copper wire coming in there from, from the copper pole. I'm showing 2.46 milliamps. Uh, the meter won't read in microamps anymore past uh, 200, so um, I had to switch over to milliamp reading. And then uh, we're at 0.78. It, it goes to about 0.8. It, that seems to be about the max voltage that you're going to get out of here. Oh, that's climbing. I've seen like 0.9. Uh, it seems to fluctuate the voltage and the current. kind of goes up and down. One will go up, one will go down. So it's about... Okay, this is hovering about 8.5. Oh. About 2.5 milliamps. Which is... Uh, I don't know what is that low low wattage, <laughs> really low wattage. But what I'm thinking is, uh, I can probably put a, maybe a couple of these in parallel. I don't think they work in series too well, but uh, maybe do like a jewel thief or some kind of way to boost the voltage up and then charge a small battery or something like that. I don't. We'll come up with something. Maybe light up a small LED. Maybe. <laughs> Alright guys, that's it for this video. Uh, we had pretty good results. Way, way, way better than I expected. I pretty much thought this wasn't going to work at all. We did get, managed to see uh, about 0.8 volts at about 2.5 milliamps. Uh, and that's about 7.5 feet in the ground with both poles. Um, it seemed that it didn't matter if the copper one was deeper. Uh, they're both at the same height, and I just kept pounding the galvanized one down farther and farther and farther, and it just kept going up and up. So they're both all the way down. That's the maximum results I found. And now i got to find something with low enough power draw to get powered by this. And that will be in the next video. Check us out at jankyshack.com. And remember to throw me a like, comment, subscribe if you like, and you can push the bell icons so you can get notified when the next video comes out. See you next time.